Hi, Tim Roberts, Application Engineer with Go Engineer. In this quick tip video, I'm going to show you the heat pipe feature that comes with flow simulation for the electronics cooling module. So here we've got a uh, typical electronic enclosure. I have hid the lid for clarity so we can see easily inside. We'll uh, look at uh, the two components we're going to talk about. I've got two heat pipes here. So one on the right and one on the left there. So these guys uh, we're going to use to define uh, the heat pipe feature. And just to open up the component, um, you know, this is the part. Um, so it's modeled as a part. Back to our assembly. So in flow simulation, uh, we'll go to our flow project over here. And we'll look at the heat pipe as it's been defined. So uh, in a heat pipe, by the way, is uh, a mechanism that uses principles of phase transition as well as conductivity and they're very efficient. So when we define the heat pipe in flow simulation the first thing we need to do is um, in this first box we need to select the entire component. Uh, in these uh, two boxes below the pink box this, uh, these are heat in faces. Okay so in this case uh, where this guy touches the chip you know we've defined that as the heat in face okay and then on the opposite end uh, we've got heat out faces so where this guy passes through our heat sink back here on the back side uh, those two faces are heat out and then the <clears throat> final thing we need is we need to bring to the table an effective thermal resistance value so this is something you know either you're going to get it from the manufacturer of the heat pipe uh, are you going to obtain it by experimentation? But we do have to bring this number to the table. So uh, using this uh, inflow simulation uh, becomes a great advantage. So uh, if you have electronics cooling module, hopefully you'll remember this. You'll use it. Uh, thanks for watching this quick tip video. My name is Tim Roberts.